2013 on October 13th, a very special day. Thursday we've, the 13th. Yes, we've had today marked on our calendar really for weeks now. A special day that we here at Channel 4 look forward to all year long. It is our K-Movie Cares for Kids telethon for Shriners Children St. Louis. And Matt Chambers is out there live this morning from Shriners with a story that proves little kids can do big things. Right, Matt? No question about it, Kent. When six-year-old Wyatt and his family met with a specialist shortly after he was born, the doctor they met with, excuse me, the doctor they met with told them that he would probably need about 10 corrective surgeries and there was 0% chance that he would be able to write his name by kindergarten. Well, thankfully, Wyatt and his family found Shriners. Thank goodness. Six years and only two years later, Wyatt has some of the best handwriting in his class and he's using those handwriting skills to write a book all about his big adventures with Shriners. Amid the crowd, the noise, and the vendors at this Shriners convention, there is a six-year-old boy signing books for a long line of adoring fans. Not only is Wyatt an author, he's also a goalie, a Lego master, a baker, an award-winning fundraiser, and an energetic ball of confidence and charisma. My name is Matt. It's very nice to meet you, and thank you for giving us some of your time today. We appreciate it. You're welcome, and nice to meet you. Too. See what I mean? Wyatt lives in Wichita, Kansas, so I connected with him and his mom remotely from Shriners Children's St. Louis. I'm just reading a good book. Don't mind me. Wow, that does look like a really good book. No, well, it's, uh, so far, it's spectacular. Wyatt was so moved by his experience with Shriners that he decided to write a book about it. Wyatt's Big Adventures with Shriners. And the message is simple. It's okay to be different and be who you are. It's a theme straight from Wyatt's heart, because he's living it. He was born different. I had two thumbs on each hand, six fingers total on each hand, and 12 fingers put up if you put them all together. Take a close look at this little bundle of joy, and sure enough, you'll see two thumbs on each hand. Shriners here in St. Louis is focused on pediatric orthopedic conditions, and being an occupational therapist, I work with all of the kids from 0 to 21 who come through and see our doctors and have upper extremity needs specifically. We are a part of that process in deciding, you know, what surgery will be best for them and if surgery is even recommended. In Wyatt's case, the experts at Shriners determined that one thumb on each hand was fully intact, while the other was just cartilage and a nail. Since those extra digits had no real function or usefulness, surgeons removed them when Wyatt was just one year old. When they did that first surgery, they actually had um, two surgeons in the room, one operating on each hand. His right hand was also webbed between the thumb and hand, so they deepened the well. At the age of four, Wyatt returned to the operating table after doctors found that his growth plates were at a 30 degree angle, causing his thumb to bend inward. Meanwhile, patients like Wyatt go through occupational therapy to ensure the best possible outcome. Then we start play and um, all the fun activities that they do throughout the day. So it could be brushing their teeth or their hair, getting dressed, um, going to school and participating in their meaningful daily activities. When you see it click with the child and they get it and they look at you and say, I did it, you know, that's, that's the kicker, that's the um, home run. What do you think of, of Shriners and Shriners Hospital? I think they're the best hospital in the entire world, and I should be like the best hospital in the universe. Uh, did you hear that, my friends? Best hospital in the universe? How about that? By the way, you can find Wyatt's Big Adventures with Shriners online everywhere. Walmart, Barnes & Noble, even Amazon. And Wyatt and his family are donating part of the proceeds from the sales of that book to help pay for transportation for families that live long distances from their closest Shriners hospital. It's just a beautiful thing. Now it is your turn, my friends, to make sure that kids like Wyatt can receive top-notch care regardless of their family's ability to pay. That is so important here. I am personally asking you to pick up that phone, 
Make a donation during today's KMOV Cares for Kids telethon, bidding, benefiting rather Shriners Children's St. Louis. Here's the number, 314-692-6448. And don't forget, thanks to the awesome folks at Jim's Formal Wear, they are doubling every donation today, dollar for dollar, up to 7500 bucks. So if you're on the fence or you're thinking, no, I'll do this later today, no, 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 make it happen today. Uh -huh. Because if you can make a donation during this hour, they will double it guys. Wow. More fantastic stories, including a familiar face live in person joining me here in just a few minutes. Oh, thanks to Jim's formal wear. Huh? Isn't that great? It's fantastic. Thank you so much. What a much. great story. Isn't that great? Wyatt. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Matt, thank you. We will check back in with you with that familiar face. Excited about that. And still to come on great day. Hey, you asked us during the morning show, what are your weekend plans? Yeah, I don't